Dr. Hartstein, thank you very much uh, for speaking the opening words uh, to this three-day conference. And ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you that we, as sort of the world's population uh, represented by the UN, have already made a commitment in the MDGs. MDG goal number two is, of course, uh, education. And uh, I've just had a quick look at the text. By 2015, children everywhere, boys and girls alike, will be able to complete primary schooling. And that would mean 100% and not just, uh, just about 80% as uh, the state it is today. So we have three years to go. And um, it's actually a goal that is achievable if enough resources are allocated, if enough ideas are presented, and if everybody actually tries to make that change happening. So, coming from uh, the UN Millennium Goals, uh, I come to the UN city of Bonn, and uh, with us is, uh, as every year, at the Deutsche Welle Global Media Forum, the mayor of Bonn, who has actually, uh, in his time, already achieved that quite a number, not of just uh, UN institutes are here, but um, that the sort of international flair of this town has actually grown. And, um, Right at the moment, he's actually sort of a man advertising for Bonn internationally again, and uh, I think we all should keep uh, our fingers crossed, because right at the moment, uh, Bonn is trying to become the host city of the Green Climate Fund, and um, the decision is going to be taken at the end of the year, but again, that would be a step in heightening the value and the issue of sustainability here in this town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Mr. Jochen Jürgen Nimt. Mr. Eumann, Mr. Rieke, Mr. Hartstein, dear ladies and gentlemen, as mayor of Bonn, I extend a very warm welcome to you, the participants of the Global Media Forum 2012 in Germany's United Nations city. You are going to discuss the role and potential of the media of sustainable development worldwide and having been a school principal in my former life, so to say, I must admit that I take a special interest in this year's topic. And you might know that being city of the United Nations decade on education for a sustainable development, Bonn has taken the lead in opening learning spaces, in promoting networks and fostering exchange on sustainability. Bonn is indeed a place where we have begun to shape our future. And it was here in Bonn, on the occasion of the United Nations talks in 2006, that the former president of the African Union, Professor Alpha Umar Konare, called education the key to sustainable development. And so I'm particularly happy that Deutsche Welle and the Global Media Forum are taking up this urgent issue involving the media in our global combat against illiteracy and for the right to education. Especially I would like to thank Eric Beckerman and Dr. Hartstein for this excellent work. They have always been the driving force behind these forums. Since 2008, the Global Media Forum has always sought out issues at stake and has been extremely successful in creating open spaces for the media and NGOs to join their knowledge and forces. Peace building and democracy, conflict prevention, climate change, human rights and globalization, these have been the topics of recent years. The Global Media Forum has always focused on the essential of sustainability, namely peace, environment, humanity. However, education is a key to all of these. In a globalized and multimedia-based world, we still need to catch up with providing basic education for all. Globally speaking, I know that we are far from reaching the Millennium Development Goal of guaranteeing primary school education for all. So thank you again for bringing up this issue here. The Global Media Forum has been 
an excellent format from the beginning. The international interdisciplinary interactive approach makes it a one-of-a-kind event in Europe. A globally recognized conference and a save the date item on the agendas of the media, expert and stakeholders worldwide. Since last year, since the Nexus conference on water, energy and food security in November 2012 here in Bonn, I'd like to speak of a Nexus constellation where I see one. The Global Media Forum has always had this Nexus approach. It unites diverse aspects, hundreds of panelists and thousands of participants. In June 2011, with uh, one and 1,800 delegates from more than 100 countries. It was one of the formats which made Bonn a place to discuss and particularly a place to learn about sustainability. In 2012, the Global Media Forum focuses on the right to education in order to shape a sustainable world. And from my perspective, all these questions you are discussing here are the heart of any debate on sustainability. Please, and I'm sure you'll be ambitious, creative, and courageous. Ladies and gentlemen, the Global Media Forum offers you a platform for debate to learn from each other and from the experts present, but also to raise awareness for your mission. So to say it in our words in Bonn, when we always took one word in an international continuing sentence, lernen, learn, apprendre, Bonn, I hope that you will have a little bit of that feeling that we put also in one of our words, our city logo, thinking on Ludwig van Beethoven, our greatest son, and I hope you will take it with you when you leave Bonn. Freude, joy, joie, Bonn. And we can all see Mr. Nimsha saying the same thing next week uh, when he is in New York and uh, advertising again uh, for Bonn as the standpoint for the Green Climate Fund. Ladies and gentlemen, um, the right to education uh, is something that uh, you mentioned and it is something that is of course uh, in Germany also the aspect that the lender that um, the smaller entities uh, are covering. And uh, so uh, if the learning and the educational part is combined uh, with uh, somebody who's actually a journalist and also a journalist working in one of the few outstanding ministries here in Germany that on a lender level concerns itself with international cooperation. Then, ladies and gentlemen, we have our next speaker. We have Dr. Mark Jan Oymann, who is working for, and I, I'm sorry, I really have to read this off, uh, is uh, the Secretary of State Minister for Federal Affairs, Europe, and the media of the state of North Rhine-Westphalia. I know that in North Rhine-Westphalia, you have a couple of ministries that actually have a longer title, but still, you know, just to get it right uh, is very important. The nice thing is, uh, Mr. Oymann is, has not just been working as a journalist, but he also looks at journalism quite critically and recently he's uh, published a book saying uh, that journalism is or might be at the edge and uh, we're very happy that you are here to speak the greeting words. Mr. Ayman. Dear Dr. Hartstein, dear Mayor Nimsch, Dear Ms. Rieke, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, Ms. Timmer, for this warm welcome and also a very warm welcome from my side to all of you. It's a great pleasure to have you here with us. It's a great pleasure that you spend your time, that we have the opportunity to share all of our visions together the next three days. It's a great gift from all of you and it's a great pleasure to have you here. Welcome in Bonn and welcome in North Rhine Westphalia, the media head of Germany. I am very pleased to participate this year and I send greetings from Minister Dr. Schwaldürn, who unfortunately was unable to make it today. 
the debate on sustainability and, for instance, green development, whether in Rio and Mexico, and of course here in Bonn, Germany's Center for Sustainability Platforms is being led with increasing urgency across the globe. This is in part due to the role that these issues have played in the media. Whether or not we feel that the issue of sustainability is in itself a cause which is relevant to the concerns of our everyday lives, few of us can claim that we are totally oblivious to the issue and to the questions it raises about the feasibility of our current patterns of production and consumption and their impact on the health of our planet. This year's Global Media Forum focuses on the role of education and culture in the process of human development, rightfully so. The investment in education is a crucial step on any road to attaining the knowledge and the know-how necessary to combat poverty and promote social, economic and political prosperity. Many of the interdisciplinary panels and workshops of this year's conference are devoted to innovation in education and development initiatives addressing, for instance, such wide issues as education for peace, fair fashion, education and sexual determination, as well as education in the shaping of political culture. The relevance of culture to development and the role of the media in this context rarely receive the attention it deserves on the international development agenda. This is surprising. Culture is a powerful means of facilitating the cohesiveness of a community and of strengthening identities. It is a valuable economic resource, creating jobs, generating income, entertaining and educating within and beyond the halls of the ed educational mainstream. Ladies and gentlemen, last week, the North Rhine-Westphalian Media Forum, which took place in Cologne, just uh, 30 miles south from Bonn, took up many of the issues that have not only benefited, but also plagued media makers over the past few years. Just to mention one, the fate of traditional print media is an example of how the industry is being forced to come to terms with a rapidly changing media landscape. The declining reader base, declining revenues, a subsequent loss of relatively secure media jobs and increasing loss of plurality in the publishing landscape are just a few of the challenges ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenges for developed countries are substantial. Any discussions of the, on the issues of media and sustainability also has to address disparities in access to communication and information technology. Dr. Hartstein mentioned this before. The current digital divide between the developed and developing world is in any case a serious barrier to the cause of an even global approach to econ economic development. Bridging this divide is a key task to any afford to overcome existing prosperity gaps. Respecting efforts must include improving access to the media, communication and information technology amongst marginalized groups, many of them women and the rural poor, and supporting media development in the ways that improve media infrastructure, media independence, diversity and media training. The state government of North Westphalia is in the process of modernizing its policies of development cooperation. The active support of educational and cultural development initiatives has always been and will continue to be key elements of our de development cooperation strategy. And just to point out one, one thing Dr. Hartstein mentioned, I think the challenges via internet are more or less great opportunities for all of us, for individuals and for societies as well. The possibility to have social, social, mobile and local, put it all together, is a great platform to share visions and opportunities and a great opportunity for a variety, a great variety of thoughts and information. 
And what we need in a global world is pure information. Sometimes we use the frame of we are overused and underinformed. We all have the possibility to bring good news, clear news together, unfiltered news together with information, and that brings me to the key issue, education and media literacy. Both of them goes hand in hand, and this is a great challenge we have to face, and I'm convinced that we will take a great step forward within the next three days because you give us your dreams, you give us your visions to fill the gap and to close the gap between um, the within the digital divide. Ladies and gentlemen, the media is an important partner of this process. The media is an important partner in the process of raising awareness for sustainability issues and initiatives here at the local and the federal level. And um, I'm very thankful to Dr. Hartstein and, and especially to the general director of the Deutsche Welle, Dr. Eric, Be Eric Betterman. Oh, he's now uh, Dr. Eric Betterman. I have, to, I have to be precise. I think last week, two weeks ago, he became honorary uh, a doctor in, in the United States. So, Dr. Eric Betterman, I'm very pleased that we have two strong persons behind this process because there's no networking without people and no networking without people who are working intensely for this discussion. And so I'm thankful um, that the Deutsche Welle and the Global Media Forum is a unique opportunity for a very fruitful and lively exchange on the media and sustainable development. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention and uh, have a good time here in Bonn, the UN capital of Northern Westphalia. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much. Uh...